girl, my name is Samuel Mange and you're watching The Identity. Now, after last week's episode, I'm populating a discussion on hypocrisy in church and going to an issue that the youth are victims and also perpetrators of it, which is gossip. There's a lot that came out from it and I'm hoping that if you didn't get to see it, go, please go and watch it on the YouTube and get to share with us your input tonight. We'll be discussing about youth in service and growth. And on my panel today, I have Pastor, Yosef, Yo Pastor Moses Yosef, who is a student pursuing PhD and a pastor at our university. We also have in the panelist, Sama Angawa, a student. We also have Elder Edwin Makumba, who's a full-time missionary. And lastly, we have Yvonne Alfreda, a professional musician. Join in the conversation on our social media platforms on Facebook is The Identity. Get to watch some of these clips on our Instagram page that is at The Identity 254. Thank you guys for coming through. Thank you. Thank you. Now, one of the most popular questions that uh, the youth right now would be asking is, how does someone grow spiritually? Yvonne, once you get to know Christ, do you grow or... Is, is the same Christ different from how you will be in your interaction in growth? Uh, personally, I want to think in spirituality, it's like today I don't know Christ, tomorrow I know Christ. I know a little bit. It's like a child. Mm -hmm. They start crawling, then they walk, then they run, then they go to school. The, the growth, the growth process is the same as spirituality. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Christ, today I know Christ. Tomorrow, yesterday I was reading John 3, 16. That's all I knew. Then after a while, I'm reading the entire Bible. I'm growing. I'm learning from other people. And every single day is a learning process. Mm -hmm. I don't want to think there is any person, including our pastor here, who knows everything about Christ. <laughs> it is a growth process. Yes. Oh, I, sh I should bring it to you. <laughs> pastor, is it true that you know everything about Christ? No, no, no. Come on, you're pursuing PhDs. Uh, that, that, that's an assumption, you know? Come on. And uh -huh. even even when we go to heaven it will be eternity just studying about everything mm -hmm. we will never stop growing mm -hmm. and, 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 and growing and growing <laughs> and I can continue saying that you know, uh, 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 the, the, you've just said that and it has reminded me of a book that I read regarding Adam you know when uh, Adam was, was, was made in the perfection mm -hmm. of perfection mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but, the, but even in that perfection he was put in a garden of perfection which is Eden mm -hmm. but in that garden he was learning, learning. That's right. he was daily learning so there's, there's, there's an endless flow of growth in Christ that's yeah. right and as a young man there's only one thing that will come to mind will my peer influence my growth or my peer is just a peer it's just a, a ring of friends that I get to, key, to, to go out and you know have a fun day but then when it comes to my spiritual growth, it's me and God, Sam. Show me your friends, and I'll tell you your character. Mm -hmm. So automatically, yes. My peers will influence my spirituality. If they won't influence my spirituality, then why are they my peers? One thing they is... They probably influence your fun life, your academics, your other spheres ex except spirituality. You know, they say that when one potato is rotten at the bottom of the sack automatically it spreads out so when these peers that you're having in your life they're just meant for your fun life then these it's detrimental to you and not beneficial to you in that with time you be, you'll begin being dragged towards one particular end They'll, there won't be a balance mm -hmm. probably to put it in a practical sense have you seen let me ask all of you. Have you seen the symbol that symbolizes low? What happens when it, it, it shows low? Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? The, the one, one mm. side is... Exactly. Mm -hmm. It has to be balanced. Mm -hmm. So if your peers are just for one particular area, then it's going to be imbalanced and bring it in one area. Mm -hmm. And you know, at times, you don't need to have... At times, you, they may influence you passively, mm -hmm. not directly. Because it's their actions, poly, poly, I mean, slowly by slowly you realize it's what they, what they are doing more than what they are saying. Mm -hmm. If it's people who are more into going to church daily, people who are more into studying the word, people who have this burning desire to know Christ, to relate on a one-on-one -on -one basis, mm -hmm. then automatically without you necessarily having to give consent to it, you become like them. Mm -hmm. And that's why Christ says, 
Show me your friends and I'll tell you your character. Sami. Moses. I wanted, to, I wanted to talk, you know, most of the time people think we don't experience these things. We are just here as a panel. We talk from things that we read. No, 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 not just that. We studied, we did a revision. <laughs> and then you're presenting. Uh -huh. let, let, let me give a personal example. You know, people, people think that life has been excellent and all that. When I was growing up, my mother, my parents are very excellent at, uh, at, 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 they were, they were perfect at bringing us up, seriously. Mm -hmm. And every time you would go to school, I went to some boarding schools, they're like, please be careful with the friends that you choose. But now, when I got to university, I had that whole Miss Independence. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, I'm a professional musician. You can imagine what our industry has in store. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to... Uh, to shine, because that's where the you, money is, you right? You need to have a tour, yes, an African tour, yes, the world my tour. own bus and all that. Uh -huh. And uh, what was funny was I ended up in the clique of people who have it. Those who have it do drugs. You have to go at least a little bit naked so that people can be able to look at you more, mm -hmm. so that you can be able to pass a particular message. And I found myself in a, in a position whereby I was going to dance almost naked so that I can be able to get paid so that I can go up the ranks. Mm. This Jesus of ours, that's another story. Mm. But the truth is the friends that you hang around. Mm. It took me moving from where I was going to study music at our local university, University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. And I ended up learning what good music was, different from what the worldly music was all about. Mm -hmm. And that's where I started getting my own personality with a different group of, group of people. Show me your friends and I'll tell you your character. Mm -hmm. group dif we had a missionary teacher. We had all these kinds of people who are gospel bound, spiritually bound, mm -hmm. focused on Christ bound. Mm -hmm. And so because of that situation, I was able to understand that I can choose to follow this direction or follow this direction. Both have put food, shelter and clothing in the house, but still it depends on which angle of life mm -hmm. that I want to take it. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to just support your, your example. Um, I have a friend also who is a chaplain, um, a, a dean in, in a school, and one student was coming to him and he wants to get rid of the addiction that he has, mm -hmm. like smoking and drinking. They're in an Adventist institution. Mm -hmm. but, but yet the, the friend was sharing how he's struggling so much because the friends who he's with yeah. are influencing him to do that, even though he wants to leave. And so you see how friendship and our influences are so related. Mm -hmm. Even if you want to live a good life, even if you are convicted that, you know what, now I want to live for God. Mm -hmm. If you still maintain the same peers, mm -hmm. they will still drag you. Mm -hmm. You know you, you know that when they invite you to a place, there will be those things that you want to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And so it will drag you back into, into, into this sense. Uh, uh, Elder, Edward, let me bring you in. Somebody would say, as much as I really want to, I don't have a place to go. Mm. I mean, these are the only people I've known mm. for the whole of my life. Mm. Do I have another place to go? Mm. Or not because they don't have another place to go. Mm. In that case, let me just stick here. Time will tell, you know, time will tell. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, as we are still studying, and I love the experience she has given, and anyone who has been through, let's say for instance, university, has got a perfect example on what peer influence leads to. And uh, as we discuss, uh, we could love to understand, it's important for us to understand the meaning of success with significance. You know, people are successful mm -hmm. insignificantly. And they are now God's intention is that we have success with significance. And in as much as we may be in an environment, I equally remember when I got to first year in the university, the friends I had, the circle I had around me, mm -hmm. it was so terrible until <laughs> I went through an experience. You no, see, you know, coming... What, what is the word terrible? Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> you could have said terrible. bad, it, it looks a little bit nah, terrible. terrible. It was terrible. Uh -huh. You cannot tell, you cannot be told. Mm. Uh, I would probably ask this for the benefit of the viewer. Yes. Uh, when you were in that circle, uh -huh. would you notice that they're terrible? Or did you notice that they're bad when you went out? Now, uh, I usually say that deception is one of the full-time courses that young mm -hmm. people are undertaking. 
especially in, in institutions. Exactly to my answer. And, <laughs> so I was deceived. Uh -huh. And you know, I was blind. See. I couldn't see. You know, let, let me give, let me bring this picture. Uh -huh. Like there are so many young people. We excel. You scored an A from the village. You've come to the university <laughs> or from whichever institution that you are. So you want to live life to yeah. its fullest, yeah. but in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. You have good intentions, mm -hmm. but in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. So meaning the destination will also be wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the issue with uh, peer pressure, it has really a lot to do with my development and uh, how I am going even to break off from some addictions. Amazing. I want to bring you some and ask. Now, now that you're going to, now that, now that we further the discussion about youth in service and growth, mm -hmm. is there a place for the youth in the church? And can they grow? Or do they need an external experience for them to grow? For one, I am grateful that I belong to the Adventist faith. Mm -hmm. Because it has identified, it has set apart a role for the youth in the church. There is a place for the youth. They, re they belong. Mm -hmm. You see that burning desire in you to want to belong to a particular community? In this community called the Adventist faith, it is a sure bet. Mm -hmm. It is a goal mm -hmm. that sure you bet. belong. Because in all the activities of the church, the church will not be whole unless there are youths there. Mm -hmm. One, to sing. Two, to go out for mission. Three, to be involved in leadership in ABCD sectors. Mm -hmm. Did I continue? Three, to make sure that programs are there. Take, for example, right now, I believe in most places, not just in Kenya or outside in Africa and all over the world right now, there is a program for the Stewardship Week of Prayer. And after that, there is a Youth Week of Prayer. Mm -hmm. They are part of that family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one thing that you said and has brought to my memory is that there's a verse in the Bible that says, the youth are like in uh, a quiver. I can read it. Uh -huh. It is in Psalm. It's in Psalm that 127. It says the youth are like the arrows in a quiver. Mm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Please. Uh, in the hand of a warrior. Uh -huh. We just read it. Psalm 127. And it says, uh, 127 verse 4, mm -hmm. like arrows in the hand of a warrior, mm -hmm. so are the children of one's youth. Mm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And that's, that basically brings in the picture that we are that essential mm. in the church. Mm. True. You know, in our spiritual growth, mm. we can't grow outside. And my mom likes using this example that once um, once a charcoal is lit mm. and you remove it from a, yeah. a unity of where the charcoal is and put it outside, mm -hmm. it won't grow. Mm -hmm. True. It needs to be in the unity of, of where charcoal is. Mm -hmm. And that's when it's going to grow. Yeah. And that brings me to the question as I bring you in. Mm -hmm. Is there a state of spiritual maturity that a youth can get to achieve or rather get to that, they'll be like, now I am grown. I am there. I have arrived. Wow. Rather, how uh, would say it? How would part now back, Mama, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very dangerous mm -hmm. if, if I ever get to such a place. I think the best place to be is at the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. As a sinner at the cross. Mm -hmm. And I'm just I just want to connect with the other um, things that you have mentioned mm -hmm. is when you recognize that, you know what, I have decided to follow Jesus, mm -hmm. you need to make a choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It needs to be a conscious and a daily choice. Mm -hmm. And rightly, as my friends have really just shared, there are so many opportunities. She shared the church opportunities, mm -hmm. but there are also global opportunities. Mm -hmm. exactly. My friend who is from Kenya, one of my best friend, mm -hmm. right now is in Palau as a dean of student in, mm -hmm. in, in, in one of the church schools. Mm -hmm. They're constantly looking mm -hmm. for, for people to volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, in, in Arusha, where I come from, there's a student who just finished university in the US, mm -hmm. and as he w uh, finished high school, mm -hmm. and as he, he wants to take a year, to teach a secondary school wow. and so that she, he can witness to the secondary school. Mm -hmm. And these are all able, they're all enabled by the Adventist mm -hmm. Society, Adventist mm -hmm. Volunteer Society, mm -hmm. and so many other opportunities that are around there in the world. Mm -hmm. So again, going back to your question, mm -hmm. um, it starts from someone recognizing that they're at the feet of Jesus, mm -hmm. that they need constant growth, mm -hmm. making that conscious choice mm -hmm. and exploring the multiple opportunities that are out there for them to grow. Mm -hmm. wow. In a nutshell, I would say that once you think that you are at the mama we made it, mm. Mm. you are in a spiral. <laughs> you, you, you are actually a point of yeah. down. Satan is, a, yeah. Satan is happy actually. Satan is happy yeah, when you are at a spiral. he knows you are about to fall. Mm. Yeah. And one thing that you can say that you will never ever 
be at a level that you can see you're spiritually mature mm. Mm. because it's a process yes. yes it's a state of growth yes and there's no end yes if the end is going to come mm. probably i don't think there's, go there's ever going to be an, mm. being no. an end even it's even eternity uh -huh. yeah Else. in, in uh, spirituality uh, we grow from grace to grace mm -hmm. because in christ we are perfect and this is one thing that young people we need to understand you know we struggle so much to be in christ and to enter into Christ, when God has already said, if anyone is in Christ, in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Mm -hmm. So we, we are already in Christ by the fact that we are alive. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to bring something on point so that uh, we as young people can learn something. Uh, when we do things in God's way, we will not escape from our life's destiny. Mm -hmm. And doing things in God's way, I have to ask God as a young person, why was I created? Mm. Because I, when I read Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 and 5, Jeremiah rightly says it that the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you, mm. I, I knew, knew you. you. Before right. you were born, I set you aside or I sanctified you to mm. become a prophet mm. to the nations. You see, if Jeremiah could have been a, foot, a talented football player, mm. he could have lived his own purpose different mm -hmm. from the creator. Mm. So as mm. the rest have said, Number one, we have to identify this mm -hmm. at, at Jesus' feet. Mm -hmm. That is the origin. That is the beginning. Mm -hmm. That is where creation takes place. Thank you for, thank you for, thank you for that am amazing analogy. And I want to bring an aspect that you've also alluded to in your, in your statement mm -hmm. about career. If Jeremiah was a footballer, mm -hmm. he's got interested in our careers as an avenue for us to grow spiritually, Summer. Yes. But before I answer that, I was still stuck on something that he had just said. Mm -hmm. The minute you decide to do it with God's way, there's this satisfaction that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried to interact in life and you constantly feel there's something that's missing? Mm -hmm. There's something that's not just adding up. This equation is not balanced. But the minute you bring Christ to the equation, the minute you let him help He's you, everything. guide you, to your destination, that satisfaction comes in. Mm -hmm. And yes, do you think that God, when God was creating Samuel Mangi on that particular day, do you think he did not know what you're best suited to be? He did know. Elder Makumba has just read that. He had it all figured out to the very end that once you're created, you will go from this point to this point. And yes, he is interested in your career to use it as an avenue for you to grow. Mm. So Why? Uh -huh. Because we are gifted differently. Yeah. I love when we were coming to this place. And if you remember some time back when you first came here, there's something that you were signing. Mm -hmm. And as we were signing, there's something that stood out. They used the word talent. Mm -hmm. We were being referred to as talent. talents. Mm -hmm. And talent is not just an activity, mm. it's also a noun. Mm. It can be used in different areas. And God uses that to place you in a career, to use the activity, the talent in you, to help you grow, mm. and not just you. One thing I love about Christ, mm. and the people around you, and the Amazing. community around you to make a difference. Amazing, if one has a bring in before I bring el elder. Mm. So there is no excuse to detach your profession to your spiritual growth. Mm. No, they go hand in hand. If, any, if in any case, your, your career choices are supposed to be an avenue where one is supposed to reflect the goodness of God. Yes, mm. because personally I believe, I, I honestly love my career. Mm. It is the most complex career that you may come across because mm. most people don't understand how do you do music alone? Mm. You're supposed to do something else and else. And. But I discovered that... We are that African. <laughs> we are supposed African. to be a doctor I believe or a pilot. I, 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 don't, I don't know about you. I, do, I, do, I even wonder how your parents agreed for you to go and do music. You're sure but you I'm want just that story? Not yet. <laughs> but I'm just trying to imagine telling me, Mom, I want to do music. <laughs> Truth is, I was an excellent <laughs> biology and chemistry mm -hmm. uh, student, but my calling was in music. Mm -hmm. And the reason I ended up in music is because I, uh, I, I really was looking for a way after I left the other side of an understanding of music when I understood my exact calling, because as Elder was saying, you need to know what you've been called to do. And when I understood that I'm supposed to be a music missionary, it, it took 
the fact that I know what happens on the other side, mm -hmm. that I can be able to show people that you can actually do what you're trying to do here mm -hmm. on the side of Christ. And as you're doing that, I integrate the word of God in my music. Mm -hmm. And so with that, I am able to show people that you can actually be a musician and still stay a Christian. It is intertwined. Mm -hmm. That is what I've been created. It has been woven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, the that's how you've been woven. wired. That's how I've been <laughs> wired. I just wanted to add that even the Bible itself is so clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joseph was first mm -hmm. a politician. Mm -hmm. Esther was a monarch. Mm -hmm. Luke was a doctor. Mm -hmm. Paul was a tent maker. Mm -hmm. We have so many examples. Even mm -hmm. Peter was a fisherman, mm -hmm. and but he was called directly yeah. full ministry. Mm -hmm. But some of these people, like Paul, never left their full-time job, which is also tent making. Mm -hmm. But you could see how they intertwined the two. Mm -hmm. And we might think, oh man, these are great people. They, mm -hmm. they were big missionaries, mm -hmm. but they were doing their jobs. Yes. We could convert these jobs to politician today, to doctor today, to musician today, to a lawyer today, to all this jobs but yet you cannot detach your profession from your true calling which yes. is to become a child of God. Yes. Disclaimer Sammy. <laughs> I mean I thank God for this discussion. Yeah. Just, you, you, you just have a what you, what you look like. Some, 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 no we <laughs> okay. 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 The minute you fail to detach your profession with Christ mm -hmm. you're doomed. Yeah. Hmm. Have you read I okay. mean, it's not a Bible. It's not a Bible mm -hmm. that I want to give an example. Mm -hmm. But I want to give an example of a book, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Mm -hmm. The few that have come across that book, there's this man who was a lawyer and he was so indulged in being a lawyer that he forgot about Christ. Mm -hmm. it, 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 the, 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 the profession was so lucrative mm -hmm. that he forgot to align his mm -hmm. will and the will of God. You know, that man who was respected, in our, like the president of a country, he was so respected that when he got to court, people knew that he automatically wins those cases. Mm -hmm. But he got to a point where he forgot Christ. As he was aging, one time in life or one time while he was in court, he collapsed right in front of his biggest case. Mm -hmm. He took him getting to the point of a near-death situation for him to realize, I need Christ. Mm -hmm. The minute he woke up from there, the man says he closed all his law books. He went and resigned from being the top partner and went to look for Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He went out there and sought yeah. for a relationship with mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, he, the time that he fell, he was looking like a 60-year-old man. Mm -hmm. When he went and came back, he was looking at 30 years age. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That is how much Christ had worked in wow. him. Yeah, uh, just to give a personal experience, mm -hmm. I enrolled in the university and I finished with a bachelor's of uh, actuarial science. Mm -hmm. Little did I know that God was using that as a stepping stone to me becoming a missionary. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, Amen. you know, sometimes it, uh, it has taken... Hold it, hold it. <laughs> actuarial science, yeah. full-time ministry, missionary, yeah. what a comparison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now to add on that, uh -huh. the Lord has made a way possible I'm leaving the country for the Philippines Amen. Amen. for studies in theology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and become an Adventist mm -hmm. minister. Mm -hmm. So you see, the grace of God, w yeah. when we talk about the grace, uh, it is not just the word grace. Mm -hmm. The grace means the opportunity. Now, God has placed us in various parts of this world mm -hmm. and he has given us enough sufficient, not even enough, sufficient grace. Now, the moment for us to make that grace ours, we must act our part. Mm -hmm. It does not matter what you are studying. Mm -hmm. Do it to the best, mm -hmm. get the best grades. Mm -hmm. God has a place for every youth mm -hmm. in this life. I, I, allow uh, me to read something, please. Quickly as we come to a close. To every man is given his work. This is Mark 13, 34. Mm -hmm. The work for which his capabilities mm -hmm. adapt to him. Mm -hmm. The work which will result in greatest good to himself mm -hmm. and to his fellow men mm -hmm. and in greatest honor to God. Mm -hmm. That's our business or calling is a part of God's great plan. Amen. And so long as it's conducted in accordance with his will, doing things in God's way, mm -hmm. he himself is responsible for the results. Wow. Amen. Amen. There's no other way Amen. that you could wind up this first part <laughs> speaking about career, talents, uh, you know, uh, about our association. Mm -hmm. 
there's no other place that you could grow spiritually mm -hmm. and experience a, f a, a, a revamped a, a revamped lifestyle other than being in Christ. Mm -hmm. We're going for a short break. We'll be right back. Katika safari yetu duniani tumeitwa kuwa wanga kwenye giza kwa ujasiri tukiwa na imani tuwe chombo cha kueneza uzima tuwaonyeshe ndesha pendo lake alivyo tufili the identity and the discussion is on youth in service and growth and now after coming from a discussion on career and talents and all these things we are going to 
progressed to an amazing discussion and I'm, I'm calling upon you to join into the conversation by getting into our social media platforms. Again on Facebook is The Identity and also you can get to follow us on Instagram that is at The Identity 254. Now, in, 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 the, in the youth forum, there's, there's, we, we always read on a fear of something that, that we call spiritual fanatism. I don't ever said it right. Mm. Fanatism. Pastor, oh, what is this? Uh, spiritual fanatism, um, I would say, you know, maybe if I would not give a, a, direct, um, a direct quotation like for Miriam Webster or something, mm -hmm. but I, I, I believe is, 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 is being, becoming a, a fan of, of religion, um, of, of wanting to, 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 to go into the details and f leaving the most crucial aspect, which is the relationship with Christ. I'll give mm -hmm. example. There are people who are great fanatics about what the Pope is doing. Mm -hmm. Like 24 hours, they would follow on on these mm -hmm. things and they would spread, Sunday law is coming. Or, or, or they, would, they would look into, into, into this, what's, what's Illuminati and all these things. Mm -hmm. And they're losing the focus upon Christ. Mm -hmm. who, that song says, when, when we behold Christ, all the things of earth go strangely, strangely dim. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I believe that's, that's, that's my uh, simple definition of what fanaticism is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, every time I, I come across this word, there's only one... Uh, one, uh, how can I call it, analogy that comes more clearly mm -hmm. for somebody who's still trying to understand. Okay. If you're a football fan, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the way, <laughs> that's how you draw the word fun <laughs> to fanatism, mm -hmm. you know? When you're, uh, you, you're, you're in the bandwagon of, yes, I am a Man U fan, I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm a Chelsea fan, but you, do, you're not a partaker, so to speak. You know, you just like to, you just like the whole mm -hmm. idea. Sami, mm -hmm. the whole fanatism, you know, you've talked about uh, soccer and the way people are fanat they're fanatics on these things because you find there's someone who can actually go and hang themselves because a team lost. It has happened a number of times. Mm -hmm. We've heard in the news that someone killed themselves because of oh, Manu or Arsenal or Chelsea or Real Madrid, someone lost. And because they had uh, given their bets, they had used their money, they end up killing themselves because of that passion. People beat each other because of just a game. Now that is a perfect, uh, that's a perfect an analogy to understand about okay. spiritual uh, fanatism. And I want to bring in Alda and, on, and also help to bring another contrast so that you can also, from, from that contrast, you can be able to dive in. There's, there's, there's also, there's another word called legalism. Mm -hmm. Please. Thank you so much. We are discussing a very interesting message. I can also give my divination of what fanatism is. Is when you sacrifice reason and you follow tradition. Mm. Now, reason meaning you are failing to live by the principle behind religion. And the principle behind religion, allow me to quote Isaiah 1 verse 18. Mm. God says, come now and let us do what? Reason, reason, reason together. together. Not follow tradition together. Mm -hmm. So uh, the government of God, mm -hmm. it's a government of intellect mm -hmm. and conscience. And so God invites, we are not robots. So when we become uh, fanatics, mm -hmm. it is now when we fail to identify the, mm -hmm. the, the, the mark mm -hmm. or what is the principle behind religion. Mm -hmm. And from Genesis to Revelation, if you're a Christian, from Genesis to Revelation, the whole theme mm -hmm. is the cross. Christ and him crucified. crucified. That is the center from True. which other truths in the Bible come from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Please, uh, le let's progress and understand now from, from the point of fanatism, mm -hmm. legalism. Mm -hmm. Pastor, mm -hmm. we'll yeah. bring um, Legalism is basically when you are trying to keep a set of, um, of laws or rules mm -hmm. as a means of justification or as a means of being right with God. Mm -hmm. And so, in a sense, you feel like, okay, um, I am, I, I'm remembering ag again um, in the last week's episode you talked about the, 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 pu the public and the tax collector who mm. striked his chest. Mm. But on mm. the opposite side there was, this, there was this man who came and said, I thank God that I'm not this, I'm not this, mm. I'm not this. Mm. When you're actually keeping a list of the good things mm. that you're doing mm. that are making you worthy, like these are your deeds mm. that are making you right mm. with God. And mm. there's really a great danger to that as well. Summer, I want to bring you in. Mm. As a youth, do we fall 
victim to these two grounds? Yes, we do. A lot, or is it just about the knowledge of how? Is, 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 it, is it really uh, something that we can know, or you need an external person to tell you, oh, by the way, there is a particular way, a particular flow that you're doing that? Mm -hmm. Probably it may be two way, but I don't know if most people are fanatics unconsciously, in that they are unaware. And there are those who are innocent in being fanatics. Mm -hmm. But there are those who are just, the way Elder Makumba has put it, they just decided to give a blind eye to reason and decide to follow tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, Christ came, came to, he didn't, came to, he didn't come to abolish the law. Mm -hmm. No, instead he came to build a bond. He came to connect the law, the Old and the New Testament, to bring a link onto it. Mm -hmm. But you find that the youth, sorry to say, and particularly those in campus, if you've taken a keen interest into it, you'll find that most of them are victims to fanatism and legalism. Mm -hmm. In that... One thing that I should probably say as she continues is that you're not speaking about it from an outside an outsider looking in. No. Continue. I'm speaking as an insider mm -hmm. who's seen it and felt the impact of what legalism, legalism and fanatism can do. Mm -hmm. In that we want to set a measure of standard. We want to set, you know, you know, when you go contrary to the law, what you deserve is punishment. Mm -hmm. And it depends on the kind of mistake you have done. Mm -hmm. But the minute that we let legalism rotate us, which is basically what most people are doing, we now bring division mm -hmm. in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. A number of instances I have experienced close to two universities, not belonging to both, People have been so interested in, people have been so focused in legalism that they have instilled fear. Mm. The very mm. people who are supposed to create hope mm. are the very people who have made, who have made, who have made others question themselves, mm. is this the right place for me to be? I and had this, can I add? As, as I bring you in, I had this one, one, one time experience mm. that I, I, I don't know how I can explain how I felt of a particular a young youth elder who was in campus and was working and he saw uh, fellow, 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 fellow Christians from afar, but then how they dressed, he would not want to be associated to them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's no other way that they could deviate in terms of the elder would go right and then no. Mm -hmm. Now the, the elder had they to come face on. to face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One sad thing, mm -hmm. the elder passed. Like he never saw the lady. Yeah. Mm. And that's the mistake that happened, yeah. Sami. Mm, Sami, mm -hmm. this, this fanatism and legalism is very painful that you find someone when, when a preacher stands to preach, the person is busy looking at ways to correct the someone. Mm. When, when someone is trying to lead a Bible study in the <laughs> afternoon, they're looking for the errors mm. in the Bible study rather than trying to understand what this person is trying to say because this is a person who's been placed there by the spirit by that for that day to be able to preach but because of that this is a divine service going on and they bring up books the bible and everything and now correcting everything that is going wrong and in the afternoon when they wait and they're given the chance to contribute they're the people who stand up and they rebuke the person who was trying to pass the message. No one knows the message completely. Mm -hmm. I want to believe so. And when you, when you see something like that happening in a church, it is so painful that even when you as a person, you're told that next week you will be leading us in Bible study. And you know there is a group of fanatics seated in a corner mm -hmm. waiting to crush you down. Do you want to tell me that people will get the, the, the urge, the motivation to be able to stand and say, today we are going to study about let's say it's usually mostly revelation and daniel mm. revelation <laughs> this chapter and you're a struggling christian you're trying to get there and you've been given the chance to be able to share mm -hmm. it is it is it creates a lot of division as sama was saying and it is a war that people are going through which is very it's actually very sad and mm. i think that is one of the things that makes the youth run from church yes, exactly. 
-hmm. Yeah, I, I just wanted to add that this can also happen in a personal level. Mm -hmm. um, I remember there was a point that um, I felt like I, I was growing up at a point of life and I was reading books like I've never, I've a kissing, dating goodbye and all those kind yes. of things. And, and it felt for me pr proud to, to when, I, when I see other people, they've gone into relationship. Mm -hmm. At that point, like I never got into my relationship until I was like around 18. Mm -hmm. And that was my first relationship. And I wanted my first relationship to be unto marriage. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to, 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 to my first kiss to be at the altar mm -hmm. and all these things. And to some extent, it makes you feel like you're better. You know, mm -hmm. it makes you feel like I haven't done these things. These people have fallen. You guys have and, seen us. And, and I, mm -hmm. haven't, I haven't done it. Even if it can be subtle, you couldn't be looking down on people, mm -hmm. but you just yourself, that you're working hard to keep those, those requirements or those checklists mm -hmm. so that you can be right, you can, you can feel you're right. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's, very, it's a very thin line to walk between mm -hmm. and we need to ensure that we, we are keeping our eyes on Jesus mm -hmm. and not Amen. some external requirements mm -hmm. or not looking at others mm -hmm. to, to pull them down mm -hmm. as, as my friends are sharing. Mm -hmm. And that's what made the Sorry. difference between mm -hmm. Christ and the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. For him, he never saw the error. When he met Zacchaeus, the tax collector, mm -hmm. One, a man who had been hated by the whole community. Mm -hmm. For him, he didn't see the mistake of, or, his, or his sin of the love of money. Mm -hmm. No, instead, he saw a soul that could be one to God. Yes. That's the difference between those who walk like Christ or those who mingle as one who desire their good. You know, mm -hmm. it says that Christ mingled with them as one who desired their good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For him, he didn't put a barrier or he didn't have the law to check. Alfreda, mm. are you dressed like mm. a Christian? Tick. Tick. If you're not, <laughs> please, and be. Uh, uh, mama will come with a huge glass of Tafadali, tafadali, please, please correct. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Elder. Thank you so much. Allow me, we know uh, we are the Seventh Adventist community or family. Mm -hmm. We are studying a very interesting lesson, mm -hmm. the book of Revelation. Mm. And even before, as Pastor said, before we focus on Pope, mm -hmm. the greatest Pope you have is yourself. Mm -hmm. Because the spirit of yeah. Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Adventist church, mm -hmm. is either you fall in two categories. You read the Bible, you become a witness, mm -hmm. or you read the Bible and you become a lawyer. <laughs> like like you Nicodemus. Either, <laughs> you either become a witness or an <laughs> advocate. <lawyer>. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not even an advocate. Uh -huh. a, a lawyer. lawyer. A lawyer. You know, when you are a lawyer, you are legal. Mm -hmm. you but defend. a witness, I'm just sharing what this man has done to me. To Remember me. the woman at the well, mm -hmm. come and see. Mm -hmm. Remember Mary Magdalene, mm -hmm. the influence. Now, allow me to uh, say that uh, as young people, mm -hmm. and especially in campus, there are so many things. You know, there, there are peri I, call, I call it periphery issues. Mm -hmm. Periphery issues, Well, the center is Christ and him crucified, mm -hmm. We are measuring on the periphery and ignoring the main thing. Mm -hmm. So I can encourage mm -hmm. us that let us focus on Christ. Mm -hmm. Number two, that in as much as we shall be studying, uh, allow me to give uh, an illustration. When I became in church, or when I at, when I joined church in uh, in the university, mm -hmm. I had a, there was a very serious influence of the health message, mm -hmm. and it brought a very serious influence upon <laughs> my life uh -huh. until I I didn't realize I've gone to an extreme. Until I came to remember, no, no, wait a minute. And the Lord has led me on, mm -hmm. and I'm still learning this. Please, Elder, yes. make it clear. When you're talking about health influence, what exactly, uh, what exactly was your no, experience? You see, I, felt, I felt so bad when I could see someone taking tea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I could really feel so insulted when I could see someone <laughs> taking meat. Uh -huh. <laughs> I you had gotten to that level. That, that level. Form of re that <laughs> form of Now I was a lawyer uh -huh. of health. Uh -huh. uh, we had done a law in health. You are committing sin. You are committing. You I didn't realize. Uh, now I didn't realize what uh -huh. Christ has done for us. Mm. Now whoever is trying, and I know young people, there are some who are trying to cling to some strange prophecies. Even mm. t I don't know. I can't even mention them from this point. But for the sake of those who are listening, uh, we only have the long time prophecy in the Bible, the prophetic time, the 2300 mm. days. Now there are some others that are attaching some, you know, now they are, they, they are trying to bring divisions in the church of Christ. Mm -hmm. Let us not measure on those minor issues. Uh, Christ is, and his merit and his righteousness mm -hmm. matters a lot to a young person who 
is willing to grow in grace. Mm. Let's focus on Christ. Mm. And him not crucified. on periphery issues. Mm. Ah, not periphery on issues. minor issues. Majoring no. on minors. Let's, let's major. Allow me, the, allow me yeah. adjust something. When I said periphery issues, I didn't say they are not important. Mm -hmm. They are important, but the most urgent is Christ. Uh -huh. And I said the greatest pope we have, it's not mm -hmm. the one who now is referred to the Bible as mm -hmm. The, mm -hmm. ma the man of sin all who could be, mm -hmm. the greatest battle we have is against self. Uh, against we self. have self to overcome. Mm -hmm. And this, no, to, to, to run away from the responsibility of learning how to overcome, mm -hmm. we start now measuring on that and uh -huh. we become now hypocrites, uh -huh. pointing out other people's Since mistakes, forgetting mm -hmm. that we are the greatest we are the greatest darkness in the Church of Christ. Amazing mm -hmm. statement. Now to bring in, Pastor, that the, the greatest battle we have is within self yes yeah. the moment you look out and see sin somewhere mm -hmm. then we should start dealing with our own oh, yes. before getting into that mm. yes. pastor please come in yes i i like yvonne's classes uh mm -hmm. and 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 one of the illustrations that i really touched me is 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 that we need to put on jesus glasses mm. we need to look the lens. At, <laughs> at the world through jesus mm. you know that's that that will put everything in perspective mm. it will put things which are far mm. far things which are important near mm. and when we put jesus and and one of my favorite preachers uh, pastor david ashrick mm. says that the most important principle is that god is love there mm. is nothing that can go against this principle. Mm -hmm. This is why even death, even dressing, all these things mm -hmm. need to be understood from that perspective yes. and the way yeah. we live our life. Mm -hmm. So let's put on Jesus glasses. You know, yeah. and in interestingly, <laughs> you have said glasses, <laughs> and I just have to say this, the, 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 the way Yvonne was looking at me, yes, she did a someone, I, I have someone. to say, yeah. she did a someone, yeah. and it was guys, it's about time that you're supposed to look at people through Jesus Christ, you know, oh, wow. and it, it, it's really amazing that you have to put Amen. it down to, if only one would be like, yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> if only she could, if only she could, but then you have to be I saw the smile, I didn't yeah. know, now I connected, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I would say that's the spirit, you know, mm. that's the spirit, Amen. But, but then there's somebody who's watching right now and is asking himself, okay, fine, I probably have been on the two places, mm -hmm. fanatism and legalism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And probably somebody who's watching and saying, okay, I've realized this. Now my focus is supposed to be in Christ. Mm -hmm. A witness. Or, yes, and being witnesses. A witnesses. You know, and not being lawyers. Mm -hmm. And not being ham and tumble. Mm -hmm. Forgive me what he is. <laughs> but, then, <laughs> but then, to the person who does not know he has got into this level, are there, are there, are there some of the things that can be seen or rather that he can have an introspection about himself and notice. Yeah. These these are verse that I honestly love. It's Amen. a Philippians chapter four verse eight. Amen. It's it's basically my one of my favorite verses and it says finally brethren, whatsoever yeah. things are true, whatsoever <laughs> things are yeah. honest, whatsoever things are pure, mm. whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good of of good report, if there be any virtue, mm. if there be any praise, think of these things. Mm. The problem is, as we've been saying here over and over again, we do not see, because when you think about Christ, you see purity. You think about Christ, you see lovely. You think about Christ, good report. So, as we said, viewing people through this angle, you'll discover that when I'm a fanatic, I'm not seeing a sinner who deserves grace. Mm. I'm just seeing a sinner. Mm. When I, I, I look at, a, a, at someone who's dressed funnily, I do not know what is happening be, behind that guy's, that person's, that person's mind. For example, this, this person might actually be suffering from something like self-esteem mm -hmm. or probably has, has experienced something in life that is making them do what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And you do not know that. And because you're, you're so selfish and you're thinking about self rather than them, you do not have time enough to actually just go and find out what's happening in this person's life. Mm -hmm. What is, can I minister to this person by understanding what is going mm -hmm. on behind this person's life. Mm. To give yes. a personal experience, a uh, few months ago, I started on the journey of being a vegetarian, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And <laughs> I have to say this up front, you know? I was, I was really excited, I'm like, yes! Found the new truth, I gotta give it, I gotta give it. I tried, man, you know, I tried. It was a hassle, man. <laughs> it, was a, it was a battle every day. I'm like, I'm going to a public restaurant, my friend is asking, 
of a marinated chicken, which was like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm like, no, just give me vegetables. Give me vegetables. Mm. Until I got to a point I realized it is, n it is not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about my hustle, my struggles. Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. Who am I doing it for? Mm -hmm. You know, once you get to a point that you need to have an introspection mm -hmm. and realize that you're not doing this to benefit God, mm -hmm. you're doing it to benefit yourself, mm -hmm. you're not doing this to force your, your surroundings mm -hmm. to behave like they are behaving, mm -hmm. but you're doing it because you genuinely, heartfully, want love to do God. this mm -hmm. and you love God mm -hmm. that have that has another experience altogether mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that has a different a different understanding yes. and that to bring you in as we as we running uh, as we running against time mm -hmm. there's an issue about sphere surrounding environment mm -hmm. we are here talking about youth in service and growth mm -hmm. we, have also, we have we already said that your friends have an influence to mm -hmm. who you are That's right. mm -hmm. But does your environment mm. have an influence to who you are? Mm. Or rather, because, not, not because I'm, an, I'm a televangelist, I'm a, an evangelist, mm. I'm a Christian, I'm a zealous evangelist. Mm. I can just go to the pub and preach to a brother. Mm. 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 Elder. I thank you. Direction leads to destination. Now, in physics, we learned a principle that for every action, there is an, an equal, equal and, opposite and opposite reaction. Now, the, the Bible says elsewhere in Proverbs, there is no cause, causeless. Mm -hmm. Now, with which intentions am I going to the pub? Mm -hmm. You know, that is tempting God. That is presumption. Uh, number two, um, the, as, as we say that uh, the environment and the sphere has much to do with who we become, that is when we doubt the grace of God. Do you know the love of God is stronger than death? And I usually tell Christians, it does not matter where you are. What matters is who you are. If you are in Christ, every day we have a battle of making his grace ours. Mm -hmm. Through studying the Bible, mm -hmm. through prayer, through worshipping, mm -hmm. and sharing, now becoming witnesses. Mm -hmm. I, I so the sphere, uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, the sphere with which we can say is that uh, look at Daniel in Babylon. Mm -hmm. they, sta they stood out. Mm -hmm. Three Hebrew men mm -hmm. didn't bow for that image, meaning mm -hmm. it is possible. We can make it, mm -hmm. but not with our own efforts. Now, whoever, mm -hmm. any young man trying to reach heaven with his own efforts, mm -hmm. that is, he is trying an impossibility. Mm -hmm. There is no principle like that. Mm -hmm. The principle that is in, God has to look to us through mm -hmm. the lens, and the one lens is Christ and his righteousness. Mm. I, need, uh, I, need to put, uh, I need us to put it clear mm. for the viewer who's watching. Mm. Now, knowing who I am mm -hmm. will, of course, definitely direct you to where I should be. Yeah. True that. To a guy who's watching and saying, well, I have a good motive. I need mm. to go and get my brother from the club. Mm. I, am I doing a service or a disservice? Let us look at it critically and also in the broader picture mm. Mm. And, and, and help me paint a clearer picture to the viewers watching pastor i think you can still show love to someone without necessarily going to the pub mm. i don't oh, yeah. think that you going to a pub shows someone more love mm. um you can be a good friend to a person mm. i remember um our youth pastor when i was in the uk he was uh, in the conference he was explaining to us that um when he is with his friends Mm -hmm. Though his friends are not Adventist or they're not even Christians, mm -hmm. but they know that there is such language that they should not use. Mm -hmm. There is no that there are places where he can't go and they would respect that. Mm -hmm. They know that there are such things that they cannot do. Mm -hmm. So you need to ensure that you understand yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to reach out to your friends, but your friends need to have that level of respect and you need to be that influence to them that they know that if they want to have a party for you, they would know that I, don't, I should not have drinks in this party. Mm -hmm. I should not have bad music. Mm -hmm. But is it that you want to be influenced by them, that you're like, okay, I want to win them, so let me, let me be like them a little bit. Now you are compromising, mm -hmm. and surely you will fall. Yeah. True so that. you need to be really distinguished the two, mm -hmm. that you can show love to someone without necessarily 
involving yourself in situations that my sister read that are not pure, that are not virtuous, that are not noble, that are not lovely. Think about these things. Where are you placing yourself? Mm -hmm. Is this place described like Philippians 4 verses 8? Mm -hmm. And you can get your answer. Amen. True that. I mean, Christ, uh -huh. as we come the to close. it becomes your way of life, you will not struggle. Mm -hmm. It becomes your identifying mark. Mm -hmm. The minute these things you do are your identity. Mm -hmm. That way you put yourself in the best situation to yeah. minister yeah. to yeah. others. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The best someone is a someone of a life well lived. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Good. As we come to a close, I mean, there's a lot that we could discuss about mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. You know, youth in service and growth is such a wide topic. Mm -hmm. And there's something that you would really want us to clarify regarding this. Mm -hmm. Or there's something that you want us to respond to. Mm -hmm. Get to us on the social media platforms. On Facebook is The Identity. On, on Instagram is at The Identity 254. Mm -hmm. One thing that is clear, and I want to give a short, a, a short story as we wind up, is that a, a somebody who is seated, uh, or somebody who's on top of a tree, and somebody who's down, when, uh, when one is pulling the other, there's only one person who's going to come down or come up. Mm. It's a question for us. Mm. If you think that you are on top of a tree, and you seek to get to the person down there, do you think pulling him is going to work? Because mm. he's equally doing, he's also, there's also that power that comes from below. It's your question, it's your challenge for you today. Mm. There's a place for you in church, there's a place for you in service for God. Mm. Let us stand up. That's right. The time is now. That's right. It is about time that the youth should realize that we are like the arrows mm. in God's quiver. Amen. Let's play the part. Amen. Thank you for being with us in this discussion. God bless you. Until next time, stay on the identity. Stay on Hope Channel.